Great, you have to use it here because you can't jump without using... Without using... You can't get past that without using this ability. A oh, merman. Ah, oh, same enemies in every level. Next room. Looks like I can go down or right. Let's see what's to the right. Probably dead end. It's just dead end, right? spawned after I killed it. This area looks a lot familiar. It looks like the room I was just in. I think it's a different room, but like they just copied and pasted it. How do you get pa <laughs> There's no way. Alright, I'm gonna go down this time because fuck that room. Down, get that heart. Oh, we got flowing water. Okay. Ah. Nice, we got a whip power up into the next room. Let's go down. It doesn't seem like there's many breakable walls in this one. I haven't really- I think I've only found one. Or maybe- maybe that was just a candle. I'm using it. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, continue. She didn't, she didn't, uh, grab on again. Typical Sonya. She's not grabbing on to the spike, or the, the rope.
Okay, we're gonna save our boost for when we need it. Our vampire hunter boost. We're gonna need it soon. Okay. Werewolf. <sighs> what? I got hit by the spike? Alright, let's try this boss again. I'm gonna use my boost mode again. Boost, go! Seems like my, my old strat of just using the boost mode and spamming isn't working. Okay, we did it that time. Don't really know what I did differently. But we did it, so I hope that's a checkpoint. Felt like this I did the same thing as before. I think I was shooting something from my... I think I was using my... Um, yeah, my... Uh, sub weapon a little bit there. I shoot like some sort of thing out of my whip. It's like a light beam of some sort. So we're gonna go up instead of right. Maybe this is the right way, maybe it's not. We don't know. Probably just a dead end, knowing my luck. There's gonna be nothing over here. The next room is just another Minotaur, yeah. Dangerously low on health. Okay, there's something here. Just nowhere. I have no idea where I'm going. Alright, that was a whip upgrade. Alright, keep going to the right. Seems like we're getting close to maybe the boss fight of the area. Wow! That almost hit me. Monster dicks. Alright. Next room. Next room. <laughs> Instant kill by the bat. Alright, so that's a game over, but... Alright, that was the checkpoint. What good timing to die. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, Kalik. We have got this under control. I planned- that was an intentional death. Actually. Actually. That was intentional. Okay. 
All right. Nothing in the walls. We're just gonna avoid this guy. Up, oh, fell down. Intentional when you don't know when the checkpoints are. Sure. No, I know. I knew that. I'm pretending that this is my first playthrough, but I actually speedrun this game. accidentally using my sub weapon. I would not want the distinction of being a speedrunner of this game. Yeah. Maybe I can find my niche with this game. It seems like a game that maybe not a lot of people play. Maybe I can find my my niche. This room reminds me of Castlevania the Adventure. I wish I had more hearts. Because I actually have a sub weapon now that works. I don't know, people speed around some of the worst games out there like Superman 64. People do that for the meme. That is such a meme. Meme run. There's so many enemies in a row! I'm gonna die. Okay. Well, that wasn't anything great. I guess I could've used my boost, but I was trying to save it for the boss. Okay, now we have six hearts. So let's see we can get through this room. It would be better if we had more, honestly, but... Taking one hit is not too bad. Eight. Four, five. I, it's so hard to not get hit. I can use this now, though. When he's off-screen, does he... Get his health back? No. Okay. I was thinking like he like despawns and then respawns again, and then he would get his health back. Say we can go up or down. Let's go up. Okay. Let's go right. Let's see what's here. This looks like a boss fight. Is it Dracula? You have done well, my god. In fact, you are the first human who has come this far. Well, that's not true. You have my prince. You are the prince of darkness. Because of you, many people have died, many people have suffered. I know my dear. I have really done what you humans wish for fulfilling. This is this is sensual desires. People must fit fulfill their dreams with their own power. You have been consumed by the power of evil no longer. Have the strength to determine your own fate. Is that weird English, or am I just bad at reading? Silence. On the contrary, I am just the one to use this power. I will be the king who rules over the entire world. Give yourself to me, young lady. You may be right in having your power, in having your presence. My strength will always... Only be used to protect the world, Lord of Darkness. Prepare to suffer for trifling with so many lives. As you wish, and it is your fate to kneel before that power. Are we done? End of the game, guys. What? Oh, no 
checkpoint. Yeah, I think we're at the end here. Getting through this section with enough health is gonna be so stupid. Like, climbing up to the top of the rope and then finding secret rooms? Or I just didn't find any of them. Like, is this the strat? That means I can get here and, like, see what is, like, um... What his attacks are. They only have the kind of secrets that drop you into the middle of a zombie mosh pit. <laughs> oh, you can't skip it. I wasn't pressing it. You have to press start. I just don't know what's going on. I can't... <sighs> just getting to the fight with a lot of health is... Ideal. I can go down there maybe. Next time I'm gonna go down and see if there's items or something down there. Okay, you can skip. I just wasn't pressing st the start button. I wonder if there's another phase or not. Ah, the spawn. Man's throwing Corona at you. Okay. Well, that's some progress. Doesn't seem that hard, actually. Not that hard of a boss fight, probably. Is there any item worth getting? Let's go down. Looks like there's something down here, but is it worth it? The question is, is it worth it? Health? Okay, that's worth it. Alright, this should be easier now. I have full health now. Yeah, I can save the invincibility, you're right. Potentially. What the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> do it again. Alright, so what do I do now? My, my, I think I have to get over to the left. <laughs> I, I, I can't figure out what to do. It ends too quickly. Powered up one. What is this? Wait, the entire time there was like... I could switch between my soul weapon? I had no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's like different items. And those things that I got were called collection items, not sub-weapons. Well... Doesn't help me now. I don't really need it. Went the whole game without knowing that I could do that. Good thing you figured this out against the final boss. Yeah, I know, right? Damn it. 
The spawns! I just got so unlucky. Literal RNG. Oh my god! Wait. I'm getting fucked by the spawns! What do I do? <laughs> I, I can't see what to do. I get there and then I one fucking hit. <sighs> I'm getting worse. It would be nice to use that special in there, but I don't know, man. I don't know how to get past. I can try. Getting past those knights, like, see if I can just damage boost through them. Okay, so if he's above you, you can just kind of stand still. You want to get near him if he's above you. And if he's on there, you want to be on the right side so you can hit him with the far away. Okay, I kind of see. Alright, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at, like, what to do during that fight. But now here, like, what do I do so I don't get hit? I'm gonna go to the left. Alright, that was just a spawn thing. I think it's maybe the same pattern every time in that fight. I just want to damage boost through, but it doesn't seem possible. It's probably just better to do this. Oh, I thought my computer was just going to crash or something. Alright, so we made it through without using the boost. Let's go down and grab the... Uh, meat. Alright, so we don't have full health. We're actually minus down minus one hit point here. But we now we have the boost during the fight. I don't know, should I use the boost during the first fight or the second? What should we do? First or second fight should I use the boost? I'm gonna try using the boost on in the first fight. Use it when you're low in health. Oh that's a good that's a good idea. That's a good idea too. Use it when you're low in health. Yeah, yeah, time it when you need it. Okay. So I'm going to use it now in this fight. The same thing happened again. Where I died to the spawn on the left side because I was jumping up trying to hit it. Oh! I accidentally used it before the fight. What was that? What was that? Okay. Actually turned out okay. That turned out okay. That was actually not that bad.
Oh, I jumped into him! Alright, we're getting closer every time. <sighs> I'm getting so frustrated! I'm gonna do this shit over and over again, it's so frustrating. I'm sick of playing this game, it controls like ass. It's getting like laggy, it's like laggy. Yeah, like, I don't know how to dodge this first attack, honestly, but... Gotta be careful... here. I'm dead. How many hits does he take? Help, it's kind of slow. That was the first frame. That's how you do it. And now... Oh, I thought, like... Oh, I just have to focus. Just have to take a hit here. I don't know where to go. I did it! I did it! Yes! Are you losing to a human? You poor man. It must be difficult to understand why you possess eternal life. Are about to perish. Humans are granted such a precious, precious short life in a comparison to yours. But in that short time, we are able to love and live for someone else. There must have been a time when you two cherished the bonds, the ones you loved. We humans are not so foolish as to throw all of that in exchange for the power you received. There's no place in this world for the likes of you. You were already defeated when you accepted the power of the darkness. When that happens, some will appear before you to take my place. If it is my fate to again be a vampire hunter, I will be ready. No, I will gladly accept that destiny. So until your soul is saved, until all the evil desires in the world are exhausted, goodbye, ruler of evil. Goodbye, o, o woeful prince of darkness. Alright. <sighs> Another Castlevania game completed. We knocked out two today. It's been a really productive stream. Thus, the fear of darkness that continued to envelop the world was lifted single handedly by a young girl. Hit score. Alright, so we got some credits. 
staff? Who is... Who is... The person... That was in charge of this mess? Hiroyuki Fukui... Was the producer. Koki Yamashita. What a... Slow... Moving credits. Well, only one name per... Per screen. Alright, so that was... Castlevania Legends for the Game Boy. Castlevania the Adventure was really janky and slow. But at least it had like a... I don't know. A semblance of I like identity. This game feels just like a... Like so... Boring. Oh, and you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. This game just seems so boring and bland. And nothing really special about it. And yeah, it's janky and the enemy respawning is pretty pretty bad. It feels really rushed. It feels like they were just trying to get another Game Boy game out. With like the engine they had, probably. Definitely not my favorite game thus far in the marathon. At the end of this marathon, I think about doing like a uh, a tier tier ranking. So yeah, that was Castlevania Legends, not my favorite. Feels kind of messy. Feels kind of bad to play. I wouldn't play this game again, probably. I wouldn't recommend that anybody plays this game. It wasn't that fun. Graphically, it's a step down from Belmont's Revenge, which I think Belmont's Revenge is the best Game Boy uh, Castlevania. So if you want to play a Game Boy Castlevania game, I would recommend Belmont Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. It looks much better than this game. Music wise, yeah, the new th there's some cool themes coming that came back in this game, but nothing like as cool as the as the music in the other Game Boy games. I'm glad that the classic Vanias are officially over. We can put a stamp of completion on classic Vanias, and from here on out are going to be 3D games and more Metroidvanias, Game Boy games, the Game Boy Advance games, the DS games. We have Castlevania 64 coming up. So yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. That I'm gonna call that a stream.